Hey, thanks for joining. It's Ted Byerly, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer at F5. And I'm going to demonstrate to you today how to quickly deploy and operate external services across multiple clouds. This will be demonstrated on and use F5's distributed cloud using service insertion. As this slide builds out, you will note the challenges today in multi-cloud environment. From people to management, complexity of stitching it all together, and poor visibility. I'm going to show you how using F5's distributed cloud, you can simplify the deployment and operation in a multi-cloud environment. This solution is built using infrastructure as code as its foundation. One-click deployments, simplifies the operations, and offers better visibility. Now on to the demo. We are going to create a transit gateway site attach an existing VPC into that Transit Gateway site. But first, let's log in. This is gonna take us to a landing page where we will select Cloud and Edge Sites. This is your map showing everything deployed. Okay, but back under Sites, we're gonna to go to Site List. Gives you another view of that, looking at all the sites deployed. Before we can get started, we do have to look under Manage Site Management, check our cloud credentials. Either you already have them or you need to add them. Here we're demonstrating they're already added, so we're good to go. After this, we're going to go back to Site Management and we're going to go to AWS TWG Sites. We do have an existing deployed online site and we're showing where we, the edit options, period. And then we can add AWS TWG site. Here we're going to give your TWG site a name. Then we're going to get down to our AWS configuration where most of the information is by selecting configure. Once you select configure, select a region you're going to deploy in. Then we're going to give some service names, let it auto-generate or select your own name. After you supply the name, you're going to supply the primary subnet, just as in deploying a AWS VPC in AWS. Transit gateway parameters, we're going to leave that as automatic go down under site node parameters and we're going to select ingress and egress gateway to interface node AZ then we're going to move the slider to the right picture availability zone let the first subnet auto generate the other one supply two subnets within the last cider that you supplied for the entire VPC once you have those supplied, go ahead and click Add Item. Well, now that that's configured your site nodes, deployment, here's where your credentials come in. Automatic deployment, pick your cloud credentials. If you didn't already have them, you could also create them here. Click Apply. There you go. Now we need a VPC attachment to your existing VPC. Add a VPC ID, click Add Item. Here's where you could add labels if you want to, but we're not going to do that for this demonstration. Apply. And now you have your AWS configuration done, your VPC attachments, nothing else to configure here. You're going to save and exit taking you back to the dashboard and there your transit gateway site waiting for registration is generated you're going to click apply this is going to do a terraform plan and terraform apply and build out your infrastructure okay as your transit gateway site builds out you're going to have time to move on to step two and we're going to deploy our external security service following steps below back into the Interface, we're going to go Site Management, External Service. You see the deployed external services already. At the top, we're going to do Add an External 
service. Going to give your service a name. Move on to the service provider. Right now for this demonstration, it's F5, Big IP, and AWS. Others will follow. Click configure. Here's where you're configuring which Big IP image, admin password, which we will blindfold after supplying that to the image. Admin username, a public SSH key to access your big IP. Then you're going to pick the transit gateway site that's actually in the process of deploying right now. Go down to service nodes. We're going to add a item. Give you node a name. And you're going to pick what availability zone you want to deploy that in. I'm in the west, so I use west all the time. Add item. So you got your node there. Now we're going to click apply. Add external service. There's your service service provider we want to manage it by HTTPS so we're going to give a domain that we can route to or we have control over enable internet access automatic VIP on the outside and eight advertise on the outside network save and exit and now your service is ready to deploy and build. So in the background it's deploying as we speak. Look back at our transit gateway. It's still applying. Come back to our service. And then when we click our service, we can get some details. If we see it's healthy and deployed. All the details applied gives you an IP, what availability zone it's in. What I like here is under service instances down below. All right, then after service details, we're going to look at service instances, click on the management URL, which will take us straight to the big IP. Admin username that was supplied, password that you supplied. It's going to take you to the familiar big IP interface where it's online, licensed, network, self IPs, internal, external, your application IPs that we supplied. You also have your VLANs, internal and external, your interfaces. So your big IP is ready to be configured with advanced WAF through DevOps. No other virtual servers are there, and that's going to show up in the next step. Two other things to address while we're still on the big IP is you can define traffic steering policies here, layer 3 and 4, and layer 7, not to be covered in this video, but in future videos of how to configure and route traffic. Moving back into the service, we're going to click the service site, take us to the service dashboard where all your metrics are, the health, any alerts, traffic, pass through your device, and across the top, all the tools available to you to explore your transit gateway service. Thanks for joining and thanks for listening. If you have any other questions, please reach out to F5.